Hi everyone and welcome to another RF Crypto A Simple Explanation video. This video will take a deep dive into Bitcoin mining, how it works, as well as answer some burning questions such as is Bitcoin mining still profitable and what will happen to the network once the last Bitcoin has been mined. Before we take a deep dive into how the mining process works, we need to look at the current banking system and Bitcoin. Bitcoin was created as a decentralized alternative to the banking system. This means that you can transfer funds from one account to another without any intermediaries or central authority. With a central authority, such as a bank, it's relatively easy to transfer money from one account to another. All you need to do is tell the bank to subtract a certain amount from your account and transfer it to someone else's account. In a centralized system such as this one, the bank has all the power because they're the ones allowed to update the ledgers that hold the balances of their clients. In order to move away from this and return the power to the people, we can turn to Bitcoin. The rules of the Bitcoin protocol solves the centralization issue in a creative manner. It works as follows. Anyone who wants to participate in updating the ledger of a Bitcoin transaction, also known as the blockchain, can freely do so. All you need to do is solve an equation generated by the system. This sounds very simple, but it's far from that. The solving of the equation is done by your computer. The more powerful your computer, the more guesses it can make per second, which increases your chances of solving the equation. If your computer manages to find a solution for the equation, you earn rewards in the form of Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at a more detailed explanation of the Bitcoin mining process. When your computer solves an equation, your computer determines which pending transactions will be inserted in the next block of transactions in the blockchain. The block of transactions you created, along with the solution, is sent to the entire network so other nodes or computers in the network can validate it. Each node validates your solution and keeps a copy of the Bitcoin ledger including the transactions that you chose to include in the block. The system rewards you a fixed compensation for the time and computational energy spent solving the equation which is currently set at 6.25 Bitcoin per block. Furthermore, you get paid any transaction fees attached to the transaction that you inserted into the block. From this moment onwards, all the transactions in the block that you've entered are confirmed by the entire Bitcoin network and are irreversible. It will be in the blockchain forever, immutable. This process is called mining because of the fact that this process helps mine new Bitcoin from the system. The term mining is a bit misleading because the main purpose of mining is not to create new Bitcoin, but to maintain the ledger in a decentralized manner. The reward is merely just a byproduct of the main objective. Now let's take a look at the rewards the miners get for their efforts. The reward paid to miners for each solution solved is currently set to 6.25 Bitcoin. This number started at 50 back in 2009 and it's halved every 210,000 blocks or roughly every four years. The last halving occurred in May 2020 and the next one will be sometime in 2024 when the reward for each solution solved will decrease from the current 6.25 Bitcoin to 3.125 Bitcoin. You also might be thinking to yourself, oh, all I need is a computer and I can easily obtain and earn 6.25 Bitcoin. However, it's not that simple. Bitcoin's inventor, who calls himself Satoshi Nakamoto, created rules for mining that makes it more difficult to solve an equation if there is more mining power in the network. So the difficulty of the mining process is self-adjusting to the accumulated mining power in the network. If more miners join the Bitcoin network, it will get increasingly more difficult to solve an equation and if many of them leave the network, it gets easier. This is known as mining difficulty. Mining difficulty is self-adjusting to create a steady flow of new Bitcoin added into the network. This difficulty adjusts so that on average, a new block will be added to the blockchain every 10 minutes. The difficulty adjustment is done once every 2016 blocks, which translates to approximately two weeks. This indicates that every 2016 blocks, the system looks back on the past 2016 blocks and calculates the average block time. If it's under 10 minutes, 
it increases the difficulty. If it's over 10 minutes, it will decrease the difficulty. And this mechanism ensures that on average, each block is added to the blockchain every 10 minutes on average. Now, miners make a profit if the price of Bitcoin exceeds the cost to mine them. The recent changes in mining devices and technology and the creation of professional mining centers with enormous computing power and the shifting price of Bitcoin itself has shifted the incentives and landscape for mining. Many individual miners now ask themselves, is Bitcoin mining still profitable? There are several factors that determine whether Bitcoin mining is a profitable endeavor. These include the cost of your mining equipment, which can run in the tens of thousands of dollars, the hash rate or how powerful your mining equipment is, the mining difficulty, the mining reward, which is now set at 6.25 Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin, which at the time of writing is around $41,000, and the cost of electricity to power the mining equipment. Once you have all the above variables, you can use the Bitcoin mining calculator available freely online to get an estimate of how many Bitcoin you will earn each month with your current mining variables. If the reward is greater than the total cost to earn that reward, then it is profitable. Otherwise, it is not worth it. In recent years, Bitcoin mining has become extremely competitive. Even if you purchase the best mining equipment, you're still at a disadvantage compared to Bitcoin mining farms, which have very, very powerful computers spread across acres and acres. And because of this, individual miners most likely cannot make a profit through the mining of Bitcoin. Hence why mining pools came into existence. The idea is that miners get together to form a pool so that they can combine their available mining power and compete with the mining firms. Once the pool manages to solve an equation, the reward is spread out between the pool members, which is proportional to the amount of mining power which they contributed to the pool. This offers small miners the chance of making a profit in an increasingly competitive space. If you're interested in joining a mining pool, be sure to ask the following questions. What is the reward method? What are the fees for mining and withdrawing Bitcoin? How frequently does the pool find a block? How easy it is to withdraw funds? What kind of statistics does the pool provide? And is the pool stable? If you're happy with your answers, you may go ahead and venture into Bitcoin mining using these pools. A question a lot of people ask is, what will happen when all the Bitcoin are mined? The last Bitcoin is set to be mined around the year 2140. And numerous people are worried that after all Bitcoin has been mined, as there will be no incentive to mine due to no more mining rewards. The answer to this concern is Bitcoin mining fees. Miners get paid in newly minted Bitcoins, but also with mining fees that are attached to the transactions. Once all Bitcoin are mined, it is presumed that mining fees will continue to incentivize the action of Bitcoin mining. As Bitcoin becomes more popular and the mining reward decreases, Bitcoin mining fees will become more lucrative. And this is what will keep the Bitcoin network going, which was the ultimate aim of Satoshi Nakamoto. And he designed the network in such a way that serves his aim. And this brings us to the end of our conversation relating to Bitcoin mining. I hope that this video has given you a good and broad understanding of what Bitcoin mining is, how it works, and what the future holds when the last Bitcoin has been mined. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please consider leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button. Once again, thank you.